In space, it's all about resource management. You look at all these old movies with their ships broadsiding each other like the wooden ships of old on Terra's old oceans. And you see all these people going to war and boasting. And you never think about the steel and the precious metals that get lost. The reactors that took years and years to build that get destroyed. The millions and millions of tons of goods and resources getting pissed away into a black hole or getting vented out into space through a breach. What kind of garbage do you think orbits depleted planets that have been stripped of their resources for war? You see it in all the old movies, the waste, the loss of so many ships, enough to empty whole planets and cities of their people. How ignorant, how pitiful. People used to think that we could just plant a flag on a world and it was ours. We didn't think about the important things. The atmosphere, the volatiles, the iron, the thorium beating and flowing like blood in the mantle of a thousand million worlds unfit for human life. That we should have the arrogance to claim and make war and waste their fruits is beyond me. When I was young, I used to watch these movies with glee. I used to think, my god, what a future. But then I went to Vesta, and my view changed. On Vesta, we dug our own galleries and caves with shovels and pickaxes, and the odd digging laser. We built habitats in the great ice caves, and grew crops once they were pressurized and insulated from the icy crust. We built a colony, then a home with our own two hands from the ice and rock around us. We built a fusion reactor that ran on helium. We had children, and they had children and we lit our homes with energy from solar panels. And everything was precious, and everything had a place. Every joule of electricity, every drop of blood, every cubic centimeter of nitrogen, and every calorie. Things were good. Life was good. But then Ceres got hungry. You have to understand, we weren't the only ones out here. There were hundreds of small habitats dotted through the asteroid field. Ceres, of course, being the largest body in the asteroid field, had the largest population, numbering at just above 10 million. So when they lost two years' worth of potato crops, Earth couldn't feed them. They were just too many people. And so the government of Ceres collapsed, and the people stole ships, and they began harassing the other small habitats in the asteroid belt for food. Most of them gave in, but when they came for us, when they came for Vesta, we resisted. Bloody battle broke out in the galleries and hallways of our home, and this is where the movies got it wrong. You see, we couldn't vent them into space because it would have destroyed our meager atmospheric equality. And while the plans for firearms and blasters and bombs all existed in the belt, no one used them because they would have damaged and destroyed important equipment. So important was their need to keep our fragile infrastructure intact that they fought with knives and spears and clubs and bows and crossbows, anything to prevent damaging vital systems. Pressing their huge numbers on us, they stained our corridors with blood, and every time one of our own died or one of their own died, they ate them because they couldn't afford not to. This was the Battle of Vesta, and this scene was repeated time and time again, every time we spread out a little bit more throughout our solar system. This was the new way we fought. Not with massive weapons, nukes and missiles, and bullets, but in the style of cavemen and knights smashing each other over the head with rocks. It was the most efficient way to preserve fragile infrastructural systems from collapsing. Do you understand now? Those movies got it wrong. Even today, with our contact with other alien races, you see it how the movies got it wrong. Our pirates and mercenaries, the ones operating around Wolf 359 and Centaurus and Pollux, follow the same traditions that came out of our solar system. Those traditions being that when we fight, we never destroy ships. What a waste. When we raid, we take everything, lock, stock, and spittle. That's much more entertaining, isn't it? Much more sanguine that we grind bones for our crops and would rather die than vent atmosphere. What a galaxy we live in.